He's like, get out of here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's great. Oh, hey, hey Marcus. Marcus. Hey, good morning. So I've got your trending news here. Sean Spicer was a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night. Plenty of funny moments from that, but he also gave some insight on what his relationship was like with the president. Did the president watch all of your press conferences? I don't think, not every one of them. Not every one of them. But would he be waiting for you afterwards? Uh, there, there were some days when, uh, you know, he, he would at some point either see clips uh, or watch it, uh, depending on the day and what, what meetings were happening and what time the briefing was. And, and so a lot of times he would provide feedback based on, again, my job is to articulate his position. Yeah, right. And so he would say, hey, I don't, you know, I thought that was really good how you uh, articulated this. I think I would have phrased this differently. In really? Is that constructive in the way he puts Sometimes things? Sometimes depends on the issue. <laughs> uh, but it depended on the issue. And again, it's, it's my job yeah. uh, to speak on his behalf. So yeah. if you're not speaking in the way that he wants, uh, obviously he wanted to make sure that he corrected that. Yeah, it's really interesting. And a lot of interesting stuff in that interview last night. Full 20-minute interview is on Kimmel's uh, YouTube channel if you want to check it out. And we ran out of time yesterday, but Apple's responding to something that went wrong at the uh, iPhone event on Tuesday. An exec was trying to demo that Face ID feature when this happened. Here is iPhone 10. Now, unlocking it is as easy as looking at it and swiping up. Oh, and, no. you know, let's try that again. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh no. Let's uh, go to backup here. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. So, so many people are sharing this moment. Uh, but Apple says that nothing went wrong at all. A rep tells Yahoo that, quote, people were handling the device for the stage demo ahead of time and didn't realize Face ID was trying to authenticate their face. After failing a number of times because they weren't Craig, the executive there, the iPhone did what it was designed to do, which was to require his passcode. Uh -huh. But nobody told poor Craig that, hey, your phone's disabled before he got up there on the stage and then felt the wrath of Tim Cook afterwards, I'm sure. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. 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 And uh, speaking of that Face ID system, last night Conan imagined what it would have been like if Apple took some questions about the feature from the audience. Will this work with a photo of the face? No, no it will not. It requires an actual face. Okay, so you need the whole head. <laughs> your head, your face, yes. What if someone is sleeping? It, it, your, your eyes need to be open as you look at the phone, yes. How about screaming? You probably shouldn't be screaming, but... It might actually work. I don't know. Does it work with the butt? No. <laughs> Next. Do you remember that movie Face Off with John Travolta and Nicolas Cage? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on for It's pretty good. It goes on for quite a while. It's on Conan's YouTube channel. Uh, thanks, thanks, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what's going on with our weather. We have a dense fog advisory that is in effect this morning until 9 o'clock across the